So I'm here in Cannes at the Cannes Film Festival, the very talented Tim Doran and April Mullen. Hello. <laughs> Filmmakers, um, actor as well, correct? Are you an actor as well, Tim? Uh, yes, yeah, actor, actor, producer, directors. You guys, writers. and writers. Yeah. So you guys are like the whole thing. You know, this is interesting. I want to talk about some of that stuff. Yeah, you know, sure. making your own movies and yeah. being control freaks. Are you control freaks? Uh, Not really. uh, I would say I am a little bit, but uh, I, I don't think We're it's like necessarily a bad freaks. thing. We're like passionate creative freaks. So if there's a story that we can't help but just like fall in love with, we have to like see it through from beginning, middle to end. I guess that's the problem. Yeah. Taking that leap from being actors and moving into creating your own your own projects, what was what was the the spark that created that that said I made you guys say you guys wanted to do this? You know, it's we met in theater school. We both went to Ryerson in Toronto, and uh, we were both always pretty big into creating our own work. And it was a really good thing that the school promoted was creating your own work. But when we first graduated, we were like, we're ready, we're going to act. And then all of a sudden, like every single strike in the world happened: the writer strike, the actor strike. Uh, reality TV was coming up, so there was just like no work at all, and um, which was actually in the long a run blessing in a way. Yeah. In disguise. So we, we we said, you know, let's let's just start creating our own stuff. So we just started. We did a theater show first together, but then we went right into rock paper scissors. Just went for it, and then the, from that, the producing side on the film um, just really started to take over. Yeah. And I have to admit. Um, at Ryerson, they are huge like supporters of create your own work and always it, the voice within and create your own stories. And Tim has been writing since he was like three years old with his brothers. And I sort of, <laughs> since I started acting, was literally behind the director's chair, never in my trailer eating lunch. I was always like scoping the situation out. So it was like I think a long time coming too. So I think it was in our blood for you know since we were young, very young. One aspect of filmmaking that you love more than the other? <laughs> it's so interesting. It's it's organic, and I find it's actually changing. I, I we both. Well, I'll talk for myself. I love production. I love actually being on set and shooting. Um, and then I also love. Um, oh gosh, no, I love the whole thing. I love writing. I love shooting, and I love seeing everything come together in the end. I was going to say, a lot of people always say, is it hard to, you know, be a producer and a director and sometimes act in your stuff? Is it difficult? But I actually think it helps because there's a shorthand between all of your brains, whichever one you are, that literally, like, you know you only have two days to shoot this certain thing, so you don't have to have a conversation with a producer or anything. Like, you literally are, like, figuring things out, like, I won't have enough time for this. I know I want to have more time to shoot this. I know the actors will need more time here. So you sort of are juggling in the same with, like, the writer. and Like, it just really, there's a shorthand, and actually, make, I think it helps us to move even faster. If there was only one thing you could share with a, a filmmaker or somebody that was thinking about getting into this business, what would it be? That's a big question. Take, take big risks, dare the impossible, everything is possible, and if you're attempting to do something, see it through till the end and make sure you're super passionate about it, but, um, and never take no for an answer. Yeah. And, and strive on, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. But, but, be big, be courageous, make huge risks, be willing to fail and fall on your face because that's what happens in the beginning. And if that's okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's my advice. And my advice would be on the same sort of note, um, never ever give up. Find something you're passionate about and go for it. And, and the thing is, it's, it's a very subjective industry. There's lots of people that get involved and a lot of people will tell you no. And that doesn't mean it's not meant to happen. That means that they just can't see it the way that you can see it. And it's important that you just believe in yourself when you have an idea you really believe in because, you know, that's coming from somewhere and it deserves to be, to be brought out. So never give up and just go for it when you find something you're passionate about. Very cool. Great, great words of advice. I'm really looking forward to seeing your next film, 88. Thank you. And for everything. It's, I've been incredible. Thanks. It's, it's been really exciting to watch the, the projection of your careers. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Yes.